More Titans talk now. Here is outside linebacker Bud Dupree. But you played with uh, our former Mike Tomlin in Pittsburgh. You come here with Mike Vrabel. Uh, do you see any similarities between them, or does Mike Vrabel maybe have his own style, having been a player in this league for so long? Yeah, they both got their own. They both got their own style, I would say. But they both have one goal, and that's to win. You know, get to the big games. Uh, you know, uh, and it's, uh, be, be more physical than the other team. You know, that's that's a very good part of both of their um, both of their um, um, styles styles of coaching. You know, it plays it plays hand in hand for for both coaches, man. And, um, you know, he's a uh, Tom's a great coach. Mike Brave was a great coach. So uh, as you can tell, with both of their records coming so far, and uh, Brave will only get better. Sorry, Vrabel's been kind of called a player's coach uh, as a player. What do you see that maybe you know, him doing that uh, kind of makes him you know, fit that label? Uh, you know, just being active at, at, at practice with the guys, you know, um, being able to see what's going on on the field, knowing what's going, really going on on the field because he actually played, you know, being a part being a part of our lives, like on the field, as well, uh, on and out the field. You know, that's just that's a part of it. I know you and Luan have talked to each other about, about his knee rehab. I'm sure you can relate to what he's going through now, having gone through it lately. Yeah. Tell me about that. Would you imagine his frustrations are and, and, yeah. and that, you know, he's close to playing and then... Yeah, man, you just you never know with these things, man. You never know what's going to happen. So that's just part of it, man. Um, it's a major surgery. It's a major surgery. Uh, things happen. You know, we just got to make sure that we, as people going through that, have to maintain it. You know, and just continue to, to continue to build and build each week and make sure that we don't have as many setbacks as we possibly could and limit the setbacks that we have each week. But, you know, I know exactly what he's going through. He, he knows how to handle it. He's a professional, and uh, he'll, he'll, be, he'll be good. Well, I'm sorry to ask this already, but the play you made the other night on that fourth down where Stafford rolled out and you were right there in his face, you knew pretty much what might happen on that play. How much is that a testament to how well this defense is playing right now, just being in the right spot and all the plays you guys have been making? Yeah, you know, we're just reading our keys, man. Braver does a great job of detailing the situations. You know, we, we look forward to big moments and big time plays, and uh, we got to continue to continue to do that each and every week, each uh, weekend and week out. You come from a program in Pittsburgh where there's high expectations every year and a lot of national coverage, and now people are saying, oh, the Titans are 7-2. They're a the top team in the AFC, but I think we need to start paying attention to that. Is that yeah. As a guy that's been through that before, I'm sure you're used to it, but do you maybe have to talk to the other guys and say, hey, just, you know, let's keep going one game at a time, that kind of thing. Yeah, man, you gotta ride away, you know, uh, ride away, man. It's fun when you on the, it's fun when you on, when you on the, um, it's fun when you on a big boat. Uh, and you just gotta make sure you continue to ride that wave once you get up there, man. And uh, don't let it, don't let it sink your ship.